What's up, good people? Well, first things first, I'm thrilled to announce that the channel broke a thousand subscribers. I'm like flipping out over here because I actually hardly ever post videos. But now that I've crossed this hurdle, I think I'm gonna get back in the game, but I need to ask you one favor. And that is, if you learn anything from these videos and you actually wanna buy the product, can you please purchase it through the Amazon affiliate link in the description? Because at the moment, I'm not making any money from this. And that's not what this is about. I, I just love talking about the gear and giving you my real world opinion about all this stuff. But at the same time, I gotta think, is this really the best way that I can use my time? Times is hard, I know you probably know. So it doesn't cost you anything extra to click that link. So if you do want to buy the product, please click it because it's greatly appreciated. Every little bit adds up. And if I'm already crossing a thousand subscribers, it actually might start making sense. So a little side note, but <laughs> welcome to the video. I actually made a video about this focus right when I first got it and opened up the box just to show you what a cool piece it is. But I've had it for, geez, it's probably going on about two years now and I've had decent time to interact with it and play with it and I just wanted to give you my thoughts. So the thing that I love most about this is it's just so compact. It's small. This is my hand. I, I throw it in my book bag and it doesn't hardly weigh anything. I mean it's it's really really portable. I have my laptop right here. I do a lot of remote sessions, recording people at various locations, and this just makes it so easy to just basically show up with this. There's only really three wires that it needs. This is the mic wire in the back. Got two XLRs back here. There it is plugged into input one. You can have uh, stereo monitor out over there and then we have these two USB-C ports and this is probably the most important part of the video because the wire that came with it was a USB-C to a regular USB which looks like this this is the regular USB my new laptop however does not actually have any regular USB ports. It has two USB-Cs on the side. And as you can see, I have this, this hub, which allows me to plug in the USBs to it. I don't know why this camera keeps on going out of focus. Now, I'm not sure if it was this particular hub, but for whatever reason, this focus right kept on just disconnecting from my DAW in the most random times. It actually happened in the middle of a session one time and I had a restart and thank goodness it came back on, but those kind of things just can't happen. I went so far as to call up Scarlet and as you can see, this port right here, it shows that you can actually plug in to a direct power source. So I plugged in a USB-C to the wall and it still would just randomly shut off. And I was like, oh man, maybe I have a, a faulty unit. But then I had the idea, I said, maybe it's the hub. Let me just try to go direct USB-C to USB-C. And as you can see with this wire here, that's exactly what I'm doing. And ever since I plugged it in directly to the computer via USB-C natively, it's been amazing. It hasn't stopped at all. I'm knocking on wood here. So in case you're going through that or have experienced anything like that, that's what's going on. The other cool thing is that here's the headphones in the front. You have to use an adapter. It takes the quarter inch. And here's the volume knob for the headphones. Here's the volume knob for the monitors if you were to hook up speakers in the back. And then there's two volume knobs. It's nice how it shows, it just lights up when you start to touch it. And then even as you speak into it, see that's gonna be a little bit hot. You can see, hey, let's turn it down a little bit. And now when I talk there, nice healthy, it's not gonna clip. So that's how you can easily set your gain. 
The other nice thing about this is that it's really pretty simple. It's not complicated. There's not a lot of buttons. Like honestly, I never touch these anymore. I have Phantom Power on my mic. There's the 48V in green. If you want to select input number two, you just hit the select. It toggles back and forth between one. You can see one is green now and two is green. Hitting the select button. Maybe this lighting will make it better. I'm not sure. Another reason why I really liked it is because compared to the other interfaces that's in its price range, like the Apollo, which I used to have, to set it up, it required drivers, or at least there was like this really elaborate standalone application that you would need to make sure everything was routed properly going into your DAW. And it was just a headache. It was just too much to mess up, too many routing things, too many weird plugins or having to use plugins to get the pre's to sound good. These pre's sound great as is. I don't need to have any kind of UAD plugins or anything to make it sound nice. I, I like it. It's a very transparent pre in my opinion. And it does come with a standalone application. Look how simple that is. That's it. And you don't, I'm only showing it just because this is a review. <laughs> and I want to show you what it comes with as I move this, this moves on the screen. So they are connected, but I honestly, I never even opened this up, which is a beautiful thing. I open my DAW, make sure it's selected in the audio panel and I'm good to go. That's basically what I wanted to cover. The size, how to make sure that it doesn't turn off by actually using the proper USB-C wire, how to easily set levels, knowing that it will connect really easy, that the mic pre sound awesome. And also, <laughs> that's the other thing, it came down in price from when I got it. This is an amazing price for what you're getting. This is the fourth generation. I think when it first came out, I paid like 400 for it. And now it's probably about half that price at this point on Amazon last time I checked. So highly, highly recommended. You will not be disappointed. The other reason, just one more thing. Another reason why I decided to go with this is after doing a comparison, the noise floor was one of the lowest out of like 10 others in the same kind of price range that are considered its competition. And this had one of the lowest noise floors. I can't remember what unit of measurement they detect the noise floor, but this one was, I think like a five, five point something, which was one of the lowest compared to all the other ones. Shout out to Focusrite. This Scarlett two by two fourth generation is definitely a winner. And I hope you learned about it by watching this little video. If you do want to get it for yourself, as I said in the beginning, I'll greatly appreciate if you purchase it by clicking on the link in my description. Amazon will pay me like, I don't know, 5%. <laughs> but that's what's up. Every little bit helps. Thanks for watching the video. Check out my other videos where I talk all about keyboards, interfaces, speakers, headphones, anything home recording related. It's all right here, baby. Till next time.